Welcome back everybody, this is Awais back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can configure your Ionic project for your Android development. Now you're going to have to build this project using Ionic CLI, which is a great tool, helps you to build Cordova project very, very easily. But to be able to take that project and run that project into Android device, it gets really complicated sometimes. You get a lot of weird bugs that Java is not found, Gradle is not found, or let's just say that there is no emulator is available to be able to install that applications, all that problems. Now this process will take probably 10 to 15 minutes. So let's get started. First of all, you're gonna have to make sure you have an Ionic CLI installed. So we'll check that by typing Ionic space dash dash version. I've got Ionic version 4.4.4. Next, you're going to have to check you have a Java installed. Also check for Gradle dash dash version. Now I've got a Gradle 2.7. Now, how do I install all of these things? First of all, Ionic CLI is pretty simple. All you got to do is install a Node.js. Once you install a Node.js, then you should be able to use npn and then just use this command npn install dash g ionic cli and then you need to install angular as well so that would be npn install dash g at angular slash cli so that would be the command base dash dash version and i get to see the version of angular is 8.13 let's uh get started by creating a fresh ionic project ionic dash dash version i'm going to use the command ionic start and i'm going to name the project as test and we're going to use the framework angular and here i'm going to use this application first app which basically is going to download the camera plugin and it's gonna you know just install all those plugins for us to take a picture and show that in the gallery and the code is there as well okay so our project has been created let's get inside this folder now I'm going to use DIR and I can see my Ionic project. It's going to install all the dependency that Angular or I would say Ionic requires. And then we are going to use the command Ionic Cordova platform add Android. So it's going to build a project for us. The two global dependencies that you need to install. I'll show you uh, in a different CMD. I'm gonna open another CMD and here, if you have any issues here, then you need to install these two packages at the global level. So you do npm install dash G and install Cordova dash run. Okay, you gotta make sure you install this package globally. And now it's gonna say uh, there is already there. So, and then you need to install native dash run as well and my bad the last packet was not cordova dash run but it's res i want to install these two packages let me explain to you so native run is going to help your project to run on an emulator directly from your command line and cordova res is someone something is required to actually build and push that code to the emulator Okay, now we got that Cordova project running. So I'm going to use Ionic Cordova resources Android. So this will generate a resources for us. That's all good now. Now, if you haven't installed Android Studio, you're going to make sure that you install right now. So first of all, we search for Android studio on a google go to the first link that you see and click on download and install but once you install android studio then you should be able to you know install sdks and uh, create emulators from that so i'm just going to open up android studio because i've already installed it i've already talked about java java version 1.8 is required Here's my Android Studio. I'm gonna go to configure and go to SDK manager. Here I've got this Android SDK location, okay? Now, this location is where your SDK is installed. 
and also you have some build tools that are installed there as well i'm going to click on edit and i'm going to click on this button it's going to open up this and i can see what other things are installed here i can directly copy this url to an explorer let me just bring up the explorer here and i'm just going to paste that here and that's the folder we're looking at so we need to add some parts to our environment variables you're going to make sure you have a build tool also you have an emulator for emulators you're going to tools slash bin that's what you need as well for sdk manager okay so these are the things that you need to add to your build part let me just confirm that with my environment variables here i've got uh, this intellij intellij is something that knows about my other build parts but you need to make sure that you add parts here as a system level okay click on new and add that url there okay um I'll, just to confirm you need to use android sdk root and then you define a path i'm going to take you to the documentation for Android setup and here we have some parts commands. So these are the commands just copy these commands and paste into your command line It will set up the part automatically But whatever this Android SDK root is you find out by going to your Android SDK manager And here is the location. So you might have a different location here so surely you will have a different username here. My computer's name or folder name is always. You might have a different here. So we're gonna cancel out. So we know where the SDKs are, and we have, we know that this is these are the commands that you need to type. But you're gonna have to make sure that your home dollar home is actually targeting that SDK folder. Okay, just figure out your uh, home for SDK and then put it there. Okay, now next thing what we need to do is create an emulator. So I'm going to go to AVD Manager. And here I don't have any device. So I'm going to click on Create Virtual Device. And you can select whatever you like. I'm going to stick to Pixel 2. Click Next. And let me just add this. Uh, let's just not worry about downloading this. Uh, recommended pi api level i'm just going to stick to 27 so i don't have to actually go and install that and wait for that finish i've got the amulet running that's all good now i'm going to close this and in our command line i'm going to use ionic kodoa emulate android command now one thing that you will notice here in when it runs the commands that you will have something called a gradle a gradle is something that is used to build android project now if i take you to explore and right in c drive i have this gradle folder and then the install installation like just main files now the way you get that is by you know going to search on google saying gradle download and here we got great download just download the package you need to have a java version 1.8 minimum okay uh if you are on sdk man package manager you can use sdk install gradle if you're on a mac computer just use bu install gradle on a windows you download the latest gradle distribution by clicking on this download button and then you select the version. So I would say go with the latest one. Um, I'm not sure what's mine. We did check that. You can rewind the video and see what's the version I have. But you got to figure out what Gradle version will be required for SDK. Once you download the Gradle folder, you're going to get the zip file, extract it, put it anywhere in your Explorer. And then you need to add that to your environment variable. So I'm going to bring up the environment variable here. I'm going to take you to the path. And here I have this C colon gradle slash bin. So you're going to target the bin folder. 
After running Ionic Cordova Emulate Android, it's going to build www directory. Basically, it's building the Ionic project for us. And then it's now building all the modules. It's going to run all these commands. And, you know, once that's done, it's going to bring up Cordova.cmd build Android. And now it's looking at Android SDK. Here you go. So you got an Android SDK. And the path goes to this app data local Android SDK. So the same path is there. Now it's going to continue doing its thing, whatever is required here. And once that's done, it's going to actually look for an emulator, which we created through Android Studio. So AVD Manager, this is what we created. Now you could specify the Android emulator by name that which emulator you would like to use. But in this case, I have not specified because I've only got one emulator. Now it says native run, which we installed globally. It's using that package to emulate our application into this emulator. So once this emulator gets started, you will notice that our application will be running here. Now, another thing that I would like to show you here with Ionic CLI commands, so when you use this Ionic Cordova emulate, you could use this live reload flag, which will basically keep looking at your code. And once your code gets updated, it will uh, update the application running in the emulator as well. Now, as you can see, uh, emulator is a bit slow. It's starting to run. It's starting. Now, while we wait for this, actually, no, it's started now. And we should be seeing our Ionic application. Yep, there we go. So, app is running now. There you go. So, we've got an app running. I've got this gallery. You can click on this camera and it's going to open up like a demo camera after taking the permission from me. That's all good. And there is like an emulator based camera that is, you know, used. Okay. So, you press Alt and, you know, take a picture, click. And then once the picture is taken, it will show you if you want to store that or not. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go back to home screen. And I'm just gonna stop that application. Now I'm going to show you a couple more things that you could do to debug your application because this video is all about the workflow. So let's just use Ionic Cordova emulate Android dash dash live reload dash dash external. And usually this command has some bugs recently. I'm not sure if they've fixed it, but if they fix this command, our application should be running and it's keep what it's going to keep watching the code changes as well. Once you open that in your ID, you should be able to change the code and you'll see the changes right here. Okay. Uh, I think we've seen just try this command and you will see the emulator popping up with your application. So I'm just going to stop this emulator by clicking this home button and click on power off. Once that's fine, I'm just going to stop this job. I'm going to show you how you can open this project in Android Studio. So basically open Android Studio, click on open existing project, go to the folder where you have created a project. So in this case, I've got that project in a test folder. I'm going to go to platforms and here's an Android project created by Cordova. Once you open that project, it's going to take a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes. If you have opened this the first time, it's going to ask you some, you know, option network access, or it's going to ask you, Hey, I want to add, download the specific version of Gradle. Just allow everything. And once that's all good, then you can simply go to build and just say, make, make a, sorry, clean project and then a rebuild project. Okay. Or you can simply say build bundle if you want to create, you know, APK file. So that's all good. You can see in, in the build, I can click on this play button and it's going to bring up the emulator. 
but right now we're using pixel 2 api it's going to bring up the ml letter so it's an adb binary found c there you go we got some error in android studio but luckily our emulator is still going to run okay i'm just going to pause this android studio uh, and i would really recommend you guys to explore the documentation of ionic especially the cli it gives you a lot of commands like if you have connected your android phone with your computer you could use this ionic cordova run android command which will automatically look at which phone is connected and it will start running that you know on your phone and here's some production a release or minimum sdk you can define that there you can find the key store you can sign your application right in the command line this emulator is going to take a bit longer i don't see any error happening but yeah we have how to set up Android project in Ionic world. So install Ionic CLI, Angular CLI, Java 1.8, Gradle, and then add those into your build path, especially your Android SDK, build tools, tool slash bin, and all that information is right here. So if you go to guide, go to Android setup, and this is how you do it when you're on windows okay all of these commands that you should run once you do that then you can do ionic build and ionic cordova amulet android and it should bring up the emulator but remember to go to android studio and then create one uh android emulator through this avd you know manager and then also the sdk version has to be installed so now Android supports only 28 and above. You gotta make sure that you have at least 28 SDK install. Okay, hope you liked the video. If you did, thanks for watching. And uh, if you did like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.